there's any one skill in survival that I could teach people, it would be shelter. Shelter is one of the easiest skills to learn. Anybody can do it. And yet still, every year, many people die from being exposed to the elements in survival situations. The shelter that I'm going to show you is called a debris hut. It's a very basic shelter that you can walk out into the woods without anything and make this shelter within a few hours. The principles that underlie it are that if you were to take a large pile of fluffed up forest vegetation, in this area it would just be a pile of leaves, and stack them up in a huge pile, crawl into the inside, that would be enough insulation to keep you warm while also keeping out the elements. First thing I wanna to do to build my shelter is just to build a quick framework. All this is gonna be is a structure that helps hold all that debris on top of you so that when you're in it in the middle of the night and you're tossing and turning, all those leaves don't fall off of you. So this is nothing fancy. This is only a basic structure to hold the leaves. First thing you're gonna do is find a long ridge hole. I like to find something about the length of my outstretched arm, maybe even a little longer. And I prop it up with two sticks that have just a little Y's in the end of them. I take this here, prop it there, and I lock it into place with another Y stick. And I make a very one-sided tripod with one long, very strong ridge pole, and then two pieces holding it up in the front. This is the basic structure. I'm gonna crawl in and out of the front end eventually. For now, what I need to do is fill in the rib cage of this structure. I'm gonna take a bunch of ribbing and lay it down the side, and this is gonna hold off all the debris. To do this, I just collect a bunch of dead sticks. They don't even need to be that strong. And I lay them just about to the length of where my body line would be on this shelter. So from the center ridge pole, facing out. I break them into place, try to make them the perfect length. That way they don't poke up above the leaves and let water in. And this should be a very quick process. You're not an architect. You're not gonna spend very long on this. You wanna spend more time gathering leaves than less time putting this ribbing on. Now that I've finished putting sticks all up and down both sides of this, um, I'm gonna just gather up as many leaves as I can to pile on top. My rule in a survival situation is do not stop collecting insulative material until it's too dark to see. The best feeling in the world when you know it's gonna be cold out is to crawl inside this thing and start to feel it warm up. The worst thing is to only do it half-assed and then find out later that you didn't put in enough work.
All right. So what I've got now is a very substantial pile of debris covering that original skeleton that I made. This is going to hold the heat in except for one thing, the entryway. I need to seal this off. Leaving this open would allow all of the heat to just come out the front. It would be the same as leaving your doors and windows in your house open with the heat on. It wouldn't work. So I need to find a way to seal this off, cover this with just as much as debris as I've got piled on the top. To seal off the front section here, what I've now done is just built an igloo entryway, which means I condensed the door into a small square that as I'm backing into the shelter, I can pull leaves and fill this entire section. If I've got two feet of leaves stacked on my shelter, my door should be two feet long. And that way, when I stuff it full of leaves, I'm surrounded completely by the exact same amount of leaves. All right, here I have it. This is home sweet home. It's covered over with the leaves. It's gonna keep me warm and dry tonight. I stuff the inside with leaves and I worm my way in and it's just like climbing in a really warm sleeping bag. What I need to do now is make sure that this square entryway is plugged as I crawl in backwards. Okay, there you have it. If you're ever interested in learning more, check me out at TomMcElroySurvival.com and come take a class.